All right, Tram Doctor's gonna try something new on this one. Um, this amp has been seen before, uh, Mako 200, uh, one driving three 8950s. Even though it's not 8950s anymore, um, what happened was that uh, the Mako KW um, I just got going. Uh, the Mako KW was um, three M2057s driving eight M2057s, you know, a total of 11. And I didn't have 11 M2057s, and the 8950s are a um, little bit less output, you know, a little bit smaller than the M2057s. But other than that, you know, the same pinout and the same two, same 12 volt filament. So I hit this uh, junky uh, Mako 200, so I pulled the tubes out of it and uh, tested them. Um, recently I had uh, made a little Palomar one tube tube tester, you know, for 6LF6s, 6s, 8950s, M2057s. And I thought that this had bad or weak tubes in it because it only did, uh, you know, 100, 150 watts at most. And uh, it wasn't right and I didn't want to play with it, so... I'm like, well, let's see if these tubes are good in this. And lo and behold, I tested them. And they were all very good in this thing. So um, we ended up sticking uh, 8950s, at least three of them, for the driver tubes in the Mako KW. And got the Mako KW going good. So man, after I was done with that, I'm like, well, let's revisit this thing. So since I got a lot of uh, 6LF6s and KN6s and the 6LF6 family, I'm like, let me convert this thing to um, six tube filaments, which I did, and um, recap it because originally, you know, I hadn't touched it. I'm like, I don't want to spend time and money on this, you know, junky thing only doing 100 watts because I thought it was weak tubes. So I recapped it and, you know, uh, put good tubes in it. I already had, you know, the good 8950s, but put the good 6LF6s in it. Or actually KN6s, which is the, basically the same tube. And uh, recapped it and fired it down. And this doggone thing did the same thing. It took me quite a while to um, figure it out. But I did get it going. But I'm not going to show that on this video. This video, we're going to try something new. Tram Doctor's going to do a giveaway. Uh, we're not giving away the Mako 200. Nope, nope, nope. Don't even think about it. But... We're going to give away this um, Browning um, matchbook. If anybody wants this Browning matchbook, the first person who figures out what was wrong with this Mako 200. Now, I did figure out what was wrong with it eventually. It took me quite a while because Tram Doctor's getting old and uh, I ain't what I used to be and I don't got time for these things. But anyway, you can see it's... Um, Recapped with uh, uh, 150 UF caps, and the power supply runs about 800. So uh, these 450 volts in series are giving me 900. So you know a little bit of a safety margin. Originally, it did not have bleeder resistors, and it's been unplugged quite a long time, and it doesn't have voltage in it. I'm sure I'm going to pick up a screwdriver and use it for a pointer instead of my finger. We don't want to teach people bad habits. But anyway, these two, well actually four, two in series across this cap and then two more in series across this cap. They're just bleeder resistors um, just to bleed down that voltage of those caps, you know, to keep, um, keep from getting a shock or a charge when... Um, uh, you go poking in this thing. Um, I like to put bleeders on, you know, all my amps. And it helps with the uh, regulation uh, a little bit, um, a tad. So we like to put bleeders in it. So we put bleeders in this one. Um, it's got a cap. It puts a little bit of voltage on the screen on these Makos. So it's like semi-tetro mode. So we recap the um, um, cap there and uh, I think this cap went to the uh, low voltage so we recapped everything and fired her up you know input you know tuner seemed to be working um, we did change the uh, filament voltage from 12 volt you know which is a 12 volt filament transformer so we 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 write whoa tongue tied 
rewired the sockets filaments for two in series instead of parallel so we did all that um, that up here let me get my pointer that's the driver tune there and then uh, this one here has another cap up under this coil here and that's the outside and that's the input tune or input SWR adjustment but again we did everything uh, re-ran the uh, filaments in series recapped it and all and uh, we had the same problem with it you know all the uh, chokes tested good um, everything seemed good but I couldn't get nothing but a hundred watts out of it good tubes really good tubes um, out of the one tube tube tester which I use for testing tubes now I got a one tube tester for almost all the tubes I use um, I was getting about a hundred watts <clears throat> out of a single tube in my one tube tube tester so I'm like it can't be the tubes you know this one driving three um, it ought to be doing you know 300 or so watts you know I'm getting a hundred out of each tube in the tube tester so anyway um, that's the um, output uh, coil there blocking caps good you know fan running clean it up you know it's not great not mint but uh, not too bad you know just gave it a little wipe down cleaned it up a little bit but again um, was only getting 100 watts out of it we did figure it out but for the first person who can uh, um, figure out what it is what's wrong with this amp which took me quite a while to to figure it out why this amp only did a uh, 100 watts and wasn't acting right on me um, we're gonna send a um, browning matchbook if somebody wants it uh, little uh, knick-knack browning uh, matchbook from Browning Labs for you know the Browning collector so whoever figures this out we're gonna mail that to them. USA if you're overseas you're gonna pay shipping I don't wanna eat the shipping you know if it's overseas but uh, that's gonna be it for this little uh, Mako 200 coming up on the next vid we think we'll uh, show it you know with it going where we're um, uh, fix the thing that we fixed in it, but any sharp eye that uh, can figure this out First person that posts, you know, is going to get the uh, matchbook mailed to him. All right. That's it for this one. Bye